Hi YouTube, this is Pokemon Showcase and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the, all the different types of Pokemon cards you can get. Um, this first video is just going to be about the actual Pokemon themselves and then I'm going to do another video explaining the different energy type, energy cards and training cards. So I'll move on to the first type of Pokemon cards, which are just going to be your standard common cards. Uh, they're usually your base starter Pokemon and you can tell they're common because they've got a little circle in the bottom right hand corner, which means they're common. So I've got a few... Uh, Common cards to show you. We've got Electric, Houndor, Elgem, and Panseer. Now, if you're familiar to the games, you you will know that these are like your starter Pokemon, and then you can um, evolve to like more powerful Pokemon. But these are just good um, in games because they've got um, low energy costs. You see, there's there's only about two, and um, that really helps you to get your game started. And you can obviously evolve from there. Second types of card we're going to have a look at are your uncommon cards. I've got a few here to show you. You can tell they're uncommon because they've got if it will focus well it's not focusing but there we go. It's a little um, hexagon, or not a hexagon, uh, just a tilted square there and they're usually more powerful Pokemon and um, they're sometimes evolved, they're sometimes not so I'll show you just Chinchino, Boldor, Frillish and Galvantula. You see, they they are more powerful than the um, the regular um, common Pokemon, but they have still got low HP. I mean, they're all pretty much they're all HP is below a hundred, and um, that's pretty much going to change when we move on to the rare Pokemon. Now these are often your more powerful. A lot of them are often stage two or three Pokemon, but you can often get um, base Pokemon like this Dredagon here. You can tell it's rare. Because it's got the star. There we go. So I'll just show you a few rares. We've got Drudigan, Infernape. See, that's what I'm talking about. The stage 2 card. Persian. And also a Weavile. Now, a lot of these, these Pokemon are really powerful. And they often take quite a while to get into the games because you have to evolve. But some, some Pokemon cards like Drudigan... They're really good because you can just place them down. Although they do require quite a lot of energy with the um, the more powerful uh, rare cards. And now the cards we're going to have a look at are the reverse holo cards. Now the reverse holo cards, they look a bit like this. You see a nice pattern on them. And whenever you open a pack, you're guaranteed one uh, reverse holo card. And now this reverse holo card can be any random card. They can range from rares to commons. As you see, we've got a Muck, which is a rare, Lampant, which is an un uncommon, a Riot Chew, which is also an uncommon. I really like the uh, lightning pattern on that, and then a Yarmask, which is a common. So it's it's pretty much random what type of reverse holo you get. Um, but now we're going to show you um, the holo cards. Now I only have two of the few to show because I've only pulled two. But basically holo cards, they look like this. You can see the pattern in the top right, top uh, left there. Um, you're not guaranteed one of these a pack and it's always going to be a rare card. See their looks ray is a rare. And so is Drodigan. drodigan has got a nice holo pattern as well. And now the final uh, type of Pokemon cards we're going to have a look at are the EX Pokemon cards. Now I actually have two types of EX here. We have a Full Art EX. Now I don't actually have any other Full Art cards, but basically if I compare it with a normal card, Full Art, you see there um, there's a square where the Pokemon is on the normal card. With the Full Art cards the, the Pokemon picture is, all, is pretty much the entire card and um, you they don't have to be EX cards, but they often are. There are also other um, full art cards like uh, Victini and other Pokemon. And these EX cards, they're really, really powerful, but they do have trade-offs. Like They do take quite a lot of energy to get their um, attacks going. And also, see their Pokemon EX rule, your opponent gets to take two prize cards instead of one. So you've got to be careful when uh, choosing your uh, EX Pokemon. And um, they just a normal... EX here. Um, basically, you can in packs you can get the full art cards and the um, the non full art, but they're they're the same. It's just I really like the look of the uh, 
the full art cards. See there. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned for, for my next video, which is going to be talking all about uh, the energy cards and trainers. Thank you.